kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church learning learn all about Jesus a kids church kids church kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church growing closer to Jesus a kids church Kids Church Kids Church Hello kids. Welcome to Kids Church. Glad to have you back with us once again. Today I want to just tell you a big word. Transfiguration. Maybe you've heard it before. Maybe you never have before. But it is a pretty big word, wouldn't you say? Transfiguration. Yeah, it would take quite a bit of space to write it all down. And that's if you knew how to spell it. I'd have to think twice before I spelled it. But it's a good word and it's a word that's important today. You're going to hear about a Bible reading that describes a transfiguration, and then somebody's going to tell you about what it means. I'll give you a little bit of a head start. It means something is totally and completely changed. So it looks very, very, very different than it did. I bet maybe some of you know about caterpillars. Caterpillars are little bugs, kind of ugly. They crawl around, they have a whole bunch of legs. Well, they get transfigurated into butterflies. Yeah, the same creature goes from being a long, skinny, kind of ugly bug into being a beautiful butterfly. Well, we're gonna hear something actually that's even better about a transfiguration for Jesus and why it's so important. So stay tuned, pay attention, have fun with the singing and pay attention for the Bible reading and the prayers and, and the lesson. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless all of you. Bye-bye. Here's the reading. A reading from the book of Luke. About eight days after Jesus said these things, he took Peter, John, and James and went up on a mountain to pray. While Jesus was praying, his face began to change. His clothes became shining white. Then two men were there talking with him. They were Moses and Elijah. They also looked bright and glorious. They were talking with Jesus about his death that would happen in Jerusalem. Peter and the others were asleep, but they woke up and saw the glory of Jesus. They also saw the two men who were standing with him. When Moses and Elijah were leaving, Peter said, Master, it is good that we are here. We will put three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While Peter was saying all these things, a cloud came all around them. Peter, John, and James were afraid when the cloud covered them. A voice came from the cloud and said, This is my son. He is the one I have chosen. Obey him. When the voice stopped, only Jesus was there. Peter, John, and James said nothing, and for a long time after that, they told no one about what they had seen. This is the word of the Lord. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it all around, bushel and bushel. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 
gonna let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, hello everyone. I'm Mrs. Wolf, and today's lesson is about an amazing change that three of Jesus' disciples, Peter, James, and John, actually saw happen to Jesus. Right now, I'm trying to change something. I want to change this lump of Play-Doh into a mountain. <laughs> Except I'm not very good at making things out of Play-Doh. But you know what? That's okay, because this lesson isn't really about changing Play-Doh into something else. It's about a way more amazing change, the kind of change only God can do. This change that God had Jesus do is called transfiguration. Wow, that's a big word. And I'll bet most of you have no idea what it means. It's hard to understand and to explain but it's something only God can do, and we, like the disciples, are completely amazed by it. Let me give you some examples. I know you've all seen a butterfly. Some of them are so very beautiful, but they didn't actually start out that way. Did you know that a butterfly was once a caterpillar or a worm? <laughs> My rendition of a caterpillar or a worm. Yep, a worm. And through God's amazing creation, he can take caterpillars, or kind of ugly worms, and transfigure them into something beautiful. And that change is called metamorphosis, another really big word. And that means changing the caterpillar or the worm into a beautiful butterfly. Well, that kind of change takes many weeks. And while the caterpillar is inside its cocoon, and that's another amazing miracle of God, that's when this beautiful transfiguration takes place. And here's another kind of transfiguration, a chameleon, it's a lizard, and it can change its color. And they can look just like what they're sitting on, like a tree or a plant or a leaf or a, a wall or a piece of cloth. And here's yet another amazing transfiguration. Think of these, these tiny little seeds here that you might plant in your garden. And before long, those tiny little seeds will sprout and they grow. They grow into a wonderful squash or a tomato or a bean or some lettuce or some kind of fruit. These little tiny ones, in fact, are lemon seeds from that lemon. Well, not from that lemon, but from a lemon. And another one, that transfer, the things, these things take a really long time to transfigure. But the transfiguration that happened to Jesus happened right in front of the disciples' eyes. Just like that. No time at all. What a good thing that was because the disciples were not totally certain of who Jesus really was, even after following him for many days. So Jesus took Peter, James, and John to join him on a journey up a high mountain. <laughs> a mountain, right. And it was on that mountain that Jesus was transfigured. His face changed. His garments changed. They were suddenly shining like the sun, brighter than any other light, even brighter than a flashlight. And even brighter than, than lightning. You've all seen lightning. And his clothes were white like, like fresh snow in a snowstorm, or like a, a super white bedsheet. His face was even brighter and whiter than that. And it didn't take a chemical like bleach to do that. It took God. And then two other people suddenly appeared besides Jesus, just as he became bright and glowing. And they were people from long ago, Moses and Elijah. These men had been prophets hundreds of years ago. And they were talking with Jesus about what was going to happen soon in Jerusalem, where Jesus would die on a cross. 
All of that was so amazing, but also kind of scary. Even though Peter was frightened, he didn't want it to end, and he said, Lord, it is good for us to be here, and if you will, let us make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah, kind of like setting up a camp tent for each one of them. But then the most amazing thing of all happened. A thick cloud covered everyone so that no one could see. And then they heard a voice. It was God's voice. And it said, this is, this my, is my beloved, beloved son, son in whom I am I well am pleased. pleased. Listen, Listen to, him. to him. And then the disciples, after they heard this voice, they were so frightened, they fell on their faces. But Jesus reached down, he touched them, and he said, get up and do not be afraid. And when the disciples looked, the cloud was gone, Moses was gone, Elijah was gone, only Jesus was standing there. And now he looked just as normal as before, just the way he did before he was transfigured and changed. I don't think anyone can really explain all of that, but we as Christians accept it and believe it to be true because it's here in Jesus' word. And here's something wonderful. This lesson shows us the Trinity, and that is God in three persons. God the Father who spoke, God the Son who was transfigured, and God the Holy Spirit who was in the cloud. Pretty amazing. This shows us that God really is greater than we are, and we can always count on him. Since he can be transfigured, he can also change other things like when we're having a hard time, he can change it, us to be strong. He can change us to give us more faith. He can change us to help us understand things better. He can change us to help us love others. Now let's tell God how grateful we are for giving us Jesus and all of his blessings. Let's bow our heads. Dear God, when we read about Jesus' transfiguration, sometimes it's hard for us to understand. Help us to see your amazing power and glory so that we may know you and so that we may tell others about Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Pretty amazing. Now go have an amazing week. Bye.
Hello, everybody. Quick question here. What were the names of the three disciples who went up on the mountain with Jesus and saw the transfiguration? What were the names of the three disciples who went up on the mountain with Jesus and saw Jesus' transfiguration? Does anybody remember? Okay, okay. The answer is, the names of the three disciples who went up on the mountain with Jesus and saw the transfiguration are Peter, James, and John. Hmm. Did you know that? Now, where's Pierre now? Can anybody tell me where's Pierre? That's right. Pierre is in pastor's office, sitting in the guest chair. Kids church in the arms of Jesus Kids church walking with the Lord Kids church learning learn all about Jesus A Kids church Kids church Kids church in the arms of Jesus Kids church walking with the Lord Kids church growing closer to Jesus A Kids church Kids Church Kids Church